Right, I just decided um, with the GoPro just to make a bit of film of the camper van. Now we've got it on the drive. As you can see, it's quite um, quite big. The bike rack on the back for two bikes, which pulls down. And you can fit your two bikes on there. And use these clamps to hold them. Got a tow bar on the back. Looking up the side, as you can see, it's got these nice black windows, but they're pure specs, so they'll probably get scratched over time. taking up quite a bit of room on the drive but I've moved it up so I could plug the electric in and um, a set of alloy wheels as well and LED daytime running lights so you can see it's plugged into the mains at the moment trying to charge a battery which I'm not sure I'm doing right but got a step here which comes out electric step um, got a drawer in here which is for boots supposed to be so put all your boots and everything in there so dragging them into the van you've got two two reclining seats here I mean um, sort of driver's seat and passenger seat which turn round um, well they do turn round when I find the catch but uh, got TV screen there in the middle and sat nav and everything else and entertainment and we've got a uh, flip down 15 inch TV there free view which works off an aerial on the back of the van nice little cupboard in here which has got quite a bit of storage room for stuff like magazines perhaps some paperwork and then one of the things that makes this van nice is this big panoramic sunroof which is really good um, can undo it and wind it up and you've got a uh, close screen which you can pull out over it and you've also got a blind for night time which uh, cuts all the sun out and you've got a winding handle here for lifting the roof up and down gives you a nice view out and lets lots of light in um, so you've got two armchairs one there that nice one um, and another armchair here which pull out and convert to a bed two singles or a double and we've got um, fix in there which you put the table in the other thing I like is it's got like I'll put the lights on a minute so it all lights up with LEDs um, and then you've got these lockers all along here just like an aircraft put all your luggage in Uh, four lockers there which give quite a bit of storage space and they're all in cherry wood and 
We've got one more this side by the door. More room. And down here we've got the oven which has never been used by the gentleman who owned it. It's never had anything in the oven at all. And there's a storage cupboard down there to put your pots and pans. You can also store stuff under both the seats. They lift up. Then we've got the double glazing on here on the windows. And I've also got a category one alarm. You, you can open the windows like this. Give you plenty of ventilation if you want. And you've got your built-in fly screens which pull up. That's the blind. And your fly screens there uh, keep flies out when you've got the window open. And over here we've got um, a pull-out fridge and freezer which I've got turned off at the moment because it drains the battery um, and we've got nothing in it yet so that's quite good the freezer compartment in the top some nice LEDs and you've got another cupboard here which has got cutlery tray which uh, I'm going to get some sponge to put there stop it rattling cupboard underneath and valves for turning all the surfaces off and if I move this this lifts up and we've got a nice sink which uh, we've just got this bowl for which fits nicely save mucking up the sink because the gentleman who had it before didn't seem to have used anything on it it's a shame now just been trying a little kettle in there because we've got mains power now and then we've got two rings gas rings here which as you can see have never been used either, they're immaculate. These hold up on magnets. So we got this kettle yesterday um, for boiling some water for a cup of tea. Then we've got main socket here. Main socket there. There's a main socket down the side there for this um, settee and there's a main socket up the back. Just see, I'm sure that was the switch, I'm just trying to, yes, just trying to rotate the seat to show you move it forward first that's it so you can you can take that seat so you can sit around this side um, with the table where you can get like and I can rotate the driver's seat the same so you could have four, four or five people sat around the table there if you wanted here you've got a two um, six speed fan which I can have either blowing in or out I can reverse it and as you see you've got the LED lights up there and underneath all along all along there and there's some more here but I've switched them off there look because uh, They would normally run the battery down then in here we've got like a wardrobe well half a wardrobe so drop in there you've got your rail you've got a cupboard over the top and then you've got um, space there and you've got three big drawers here which have got quite a bit of space in them so 
There's a fair bit of storage. And we've got another cupboard here with some little storage in. Um, and this is the TV aerial which you push up and then adjust to get a signal. Up here we've got another vent we can open when it's hot. Um, got a smoke alarm and we've got a carbon dioxide alarm. And then the table's stored away there. And then we've got the toilet which you open this door and it shuts across there. So it gives you a nice um, room here, private. And then this is the bathroom which is all in one. A lot of these vans, these have got um, sections in them so they can tend to leak after a while but this one is all all molded in one actual thing so the shower's there and nice little sink and you've got your toilet here which is um chemical toilet so that's a rough um, look around the van. As I say, I'm trying to get the batteries to charge at the moment because it's all new to me. Up here we've got control panel for air, gas, central heating and hot water and you can set timer on it. Um, And then you've got a switch here for an awning light outside. You've got the button which takes the step in and out. This is the control panel. Turn the lights off there. Now if I go to the leisure battery, which it should be charging now off the mains. I'm just not sure about this dial here, the amp power's capacity. It's showing zero. Um, which I can't seem to work out. I would have thought it would be showing. It was showing ten percent when I looked the other day, and now it's dropped to naught. So, not sure if I'm charging the battery or not. You got a switch for your pump, for your water. That one I'm not sure what that is. This one's to brighten and dim your lights. This is to switch between batteries, leisure batteries. And vehicle battery and this one is for your heated tanks underneath the van in the winter stop them freezing up so all in all as you can see it's saying I got like 13.7 volts in the leisure battery but no amp power as the solar panel is giving out 1.7 amps and it's saying minus 4 battery amps but I don't know why because there's nothing switched on so anyway that's a quick look around if you're interested in seeing it and uh, hopefully we'll get the hang of it all and be able to get out somewhere